Well, hello everyone. This is Dan again, back again after a while. And today is a trip. A brand new trip, of course. And this today's trip will be from going from Phoenix, Arizona, all the way to Prescott, Arizona. And all that. So right now I'm currently here at my apartment here in a rental car, and I am right now getting ready to head out or to <clears throat> head out, head out of here, and head over to the freeway and get going. All right, so you know, it looks like today's route will be probably um, to we'll, we'll go to Interstate 10 westbound to um, I-17 North, and um, then take I-17 North all the way to um, towards um, eventual. We'll probably stop in Anthem, and I'll end up probably stopping in um, probably uh, in um, Anthem, Black Hand City, or probably um, or more likely probably Sunset Point Rust area. Uh, once that is done, then um, yep, and then we head over to Arizona 69, Highway 69, and that will take us into Prescott area. So, all right, well, enjoy. Here we go. There'll be some commentary and, of course, music along the way and everything like that. So, um, let me, okay. Let me just do a couple things here. Okay. Here we go. The car I've got right here today is a uh, 2019 Hyundai Kona. This has a hatchback and everything, so a very nice car, really like it. You know, it'll be a great car to go ahead and take up of course there and everything and of course we'll be stopping anthem like i said probably while we were first stopped to get to just get some fill up and put some fuel in the tank and more fuel and all that all right so here we go we're leaving Awatuki here area of phoenix my apartment complex here I just go out and take up. I'm probably gonna go up to Elliott Road and use that on ramp since I liked it better when it comes to merging. <clears throat> A lot easier. Coming up to Ray Road here. Yeah, a lot of shopping in this part here of Aotuki. There's a, this is just a lot of uh, restaurants, you got um, stores, all that around here. So, in this area, you know, this is uh, 50th Street and Ray Road here in Phoenix, Aotuki part of it.
supposed to be actually after a day of after a week of record heat here in Phoenix weather wise um, we actually um, temperatures are actually supposed to be cooler today there's definitely more humidity in the air today and also um, one thing as well I'm going to note is that it's supposed to only be 100 through 103 degrees which is closer to average I think the average high now is about what 104 so I believe 105 approximately yeah so it's you know it's still hot but not definitely but the thing is this you in phoenix and you feel 115 116 degree heat 114 you know 103 i mean you feel, even if it's 105 it feels it's definitely a difference compared uh i mean compared to um that and everything right now i think today press gets supposed to be on the i think it's in the low 80s it's typically about 20 to 25 degrees on average cooler than phoenix up there and it's about 5700 feet in elevation so it's quite fairly high up there and all that so but it's definitely much nicer weather and there's all different type of landscapes where my dad lives it's very very nice it's actually is like it almost looks like where i lived one time in spokane washington where i mean it looks like it, I mean, all the green pine trees and everything very very beautiful place um where he my dad got in him and he got his, his home there so anyway but right now we're heading up 40th street here and we're going to be approaching warner road here Street here. We're gonna go up to Elliot, make a right on Elliot Road. Okay, so we are on Elliott Road here, heading eastbound. All right. 
right, so we're gonna get on Interstate 10 West towards Phoenix here. Well, actually, we're in Phoenix, but we're actually towards, more towards downtown, of course, that's what that means. And of course, over this bridge, if you go over this overpass here, uh, we enter the city of Tempe here. As you know, the as crowd of traffic lights look different here, and they say Tempe on them because it's actually this may be considered the city of Tempe here, actually, right here, once we go on the bridge, <clears throat> technically. So that's probably why they're like that here. Exit 157, which is Elliott Road, off Interstate 10. I'll say one thing I've noticed about drivers here, and, I, and this is something, I mean, yeah, I, you know, the thing is, one thing I remember, <laughs> back in the days when I was in um, driver's ed, and everything, uh, all that. I remember that they, um, <clears throat> I remember we were learning to drive on Interstate 90 in Spokane you know, and all that. And I remember when I was on the on ramp, I remember my driving instructor saying to me, Turn your signal on, turn your signal on. You know, I mean, first time, first thing I'm ever on, as soon as I'm on a freeway on ramp, I actually I turn my signal on right away. I mean, you know, I mean, I, here I've noticed people here do not do it. And or they do it, but they do it very, very delayed when they want to come on. And it, it's confusing. It can, and it, can, it can be very confusing to, to fellow drivers because what is their intention? Are they going to stay in the right lane here and exit, or are they going to, like in this case, or are they going to, or are they going to come over? I mean, you know, and get in the main lanes of traffic. It's just, you know, that's just the one thing here I have just, I have just noticed. I mean, it's just, it's all, it's just something here in Arizona. It's just some of these drivers here, you know, just what they do. And anyway, right now, if you look at ahead here, you know, as we're coming up, we're coming up to exit 155 and 154. 155 is Baseline Road, and <clears throat> 154 is uh, the 60 uh, U.S. Superstition Freeway, 60 East that goes towards uh, Mesa, uh, the Apache Junction, of course, then um, a, a community called Gold Canyon, of course, out to Globe over there. And you can see also right there, the mountains right there, you can see a mountain that looks like a camelback hat. Uh, a camel. That's called Camelback Mountain. It's one of very prominent lion marks here in Phoenix. Actually, a lot of course you can go hike that, but it's not something I would recommend during the summer. There's just so many people who I just, I just don't understand how so many people hikers think they can, you know, beat the heat, you know, and then they get into trouble. And then, you know, of course, and they got to be rescued. I mean, it's just because they under they underestimate the heat. You know, really, the best time to go hiking here in Phoenix is probably November, probably to maybe around <clears throat> maybe March or April when the heat temperatures aren't that bad especially in the middle of the summer trying to go hiking on uh, hiking any trails here is just it's it, I, I my opinion is dangerous even if you have plenty of water it's still you know the heat you know can 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 kind of can sneak up on you that's for sure so we're passing the US 60 interstate 10 inter, um, interchange here you can see the fly the flyover ramps <clears throat> So we'll take I-10 westbound here to the I-17, I-10 split, which is, I'm going to be coming up here soon here on this. So I'm in a rental car. I tend to be a lot more, a little more cautious how I, I'm driving because you know it's not my car, you know, obviously. But of course, I'm always someone. A driver is always cautious anyway and careful. But you know, of course, if I'm in a rental car, you know, I mean, I don't tend to be a real um, aggressive driver. So right now, coming up to is exit. I'm sorry, is exit 153A and B. This goes Broadway Road. This is a uh, 143 North, the whole, the whole come expressway. And um, that it takes you to Sky Harbor, and eventually it's just a little. It's like maybe a five-mile, four-mile, five-mile freeway. It takes you up to McDowell, ends at McDowell Road, 
actually. So right now we're going to the Broadway curve here of Interstate 10, and this is one of the most congested parts of Valpar, a section of, of freeways here in the, in the Phoenix metro area, right here, the Valley, Phoenix Valley, the Sun, they call it. <clears throat> yeah, very congested area. ADOT, Arizona Department of Transportation, basically, that's what it stands for, is wanting to consider widening this road, this part of the freeway. It gives us how, just how congested it is. Right. It estimated, I believe, 300,000 vehicles per, on average per day go through, especially during the weekdays, of course. I mean, you know, rush hour traffic here is just nightmarish. It's just, it's gridlock through this part of I-10. <clears throat> So speed limit 65 through here. I'm around 65. I mean, I usually tend to speed around the speed limit. You go a little over, that's fine. You know, really here, I think uh, deep that uh, Arizona Park Public Safety, the cops who usually the agency that usually patrols um, the the inner the freeways here in the valley, typically they um, they um, usually allow up to 10 miles an hour over before they before they really will bother you. But um, yeah, so I, but I'm well within that. I don't even really maybe go five miles, five miles and over. And of course, a lot of people go faster than that, and that's fine. They can do what they want. But I'm not gonna obviously. <laughs> if you get a speeding ticket, well, here in Arizona, if you get a speeding ticket, um, you can take a thing called de uh, defensive driving course, where instead, where it means you take that course for a day, and what happens is, is you take the course for a day, and um, and then you can keep it off your light, your record, your your driving record and therefore you don't get points in your license and all that. But you can only do that once every two years. So the really pays off is not to speed anyway, you know, really. So here comes up I-17 North here. <clears throat> I was going to take the 51 actually up to 101, but then again, I just remember there's a lot of construction there, and I know um, they, I don't know if ADOT's doing any closures this this weekend, but they actually have been you know, closing lanes or closing the entire parts of the freeway altogether. One the loop 101 because they're doing a widening project up there. <clears throat> so uh, you know, so I just you know I just I, you know I'll just take I said it's more of a direct route, you know, in that case. Okay, in that regard. So right now, if you look to my right here, this is um, we're passing, we're crossing the Salt River bed here, and right to my right here is is is, is, is Phoenix Sky Harbor International Airport. You can see the plane, the cargo area right here, cargo plane area, planes to Southwest is just taken off here. Yep, another Southwest looks like is there. So yeah, so this is one of the. This is a very busy airport. Actually, I don't. I forgot what the ranking is in the United States and the world. How busy this airport is, but it's a pretty, it's a pretty busy airport. There's a lot of air planes that come in here, take off continuously. So that's that's the thing for sure. I'll actually be flying out of here next week. Um, actually, on Wednesday night, I'll be flying out of here to go to my mom's play um, to go see my mom up in Spokane, Washington. So, and if you kind of see for the right too, you can see the uh, Phoenix uh, downtown Phoenix skyline right there. You can chase uh, one of the buildings with the uh, Chase Tower there, and you can also see. Uh, Chase Field, that's where the Dimebacks play, right over there. Uh, it's to my right. You might be able to see in the, if the camera, it's in the camera view. I'm not sure, but um, okay, so we're on I 17 North now officially here. You can see the reassurance there, some so, um, signs. Yeah, 60 West also follows this road, and it kind of leaves around Thomas Road or so. So I decided to leave a little earlier today because um, on the weekends here, uh, on the weekends here here in Phoenix, uh, especially here on I-17, this freeway is very, very. It gets can be very crowded. It can be gridlock, especially around Anthem Way where the where it narrows from three to two lanes. Yeah, and it can be like all the way to New River up to even up to Sunset Point. Even. <clears throat> so which is above the which is above up on top of the mountain, <clears throat> the, uh, um, the hill there. So that's so. Hopefully, um, we're going to pretty much avoid a lot of that because I think around nine or ten a.m. Typically, you know, typically around ten, 11 a.m. It starts to get pretty bad. 
So, because a lot of people here, especially they, you know, they with it getting being hot here in the in the in this <laughs> summers, people just want to get the heck out of here and go to like the other places like Prescott, of course, Sedona, Flagstaff, uh, Grand Canyon, the high country of Arizona, northern Arizona. So we're considering the downtown Phoenix area here right now, so it's... Spring is where I live. It takes at least 45 minutes to an hour, depending on traffic, of course, to get off, get to get out of Phoenix. Because I have to go all the way through the north from the. I live in the southern part of the valley, all the way to the far north part of the valley to get out of Phoenix area. So it's yeah, that's that's the one thing for sure. <clears throat> I think it's speed limit here is 55, and I'm even like about, well, I'm even a little over that too right now. Probably need to slow down. Yeah, speed limit is 55. You can see all these other cars. These people, they're not, they're not anywhere near the speed limit. The other people just disregard it. I, I mean, I can see why it's 55 here, because this, this is an older section of freeway here in Phoenix. It hasn't really been mildly and totally been built as compared to, this is probably one of the oldest sections of freeway in the valley of the sun here. So we're gonna go. We're gonna go. We're gonna go to. Um, we're gonna go around the uh, Durango Curve here. You know. So this is where I-17 stops going westbound. West because we were going west. You know, it says north, um, and then it's gonna go up. It's gonna turn. It's gonna now turn north now. Actually, go north after we go through this. So we're on ice. Yep. So we're now going north now. Here, we're going to be approaching I Interstate 10. Here, there's a. Uh, it, it's it's interesting. So you have the split here, and we're going to be approaching the so-called I-10, I-17, the stack interchange. They call it locally the stack I-17, I-10 stack interchange. <clears throat> Coming up here. Yep. Interstate 10 West. Yep. Interstate 10. And um, yeah, generally, this is considered a truck route because it bypasses the Deck Park Tunnel. Actually, and I don't think any trucks with hat. Um, any trucks carrying hazardous materials are not um, are not allowed to use the tunnel, so they have to use this and go to I and get on Interstate 10 West from from here. So on I-17. So yep. So right now our pass pro is passing through Jefferson. This is Jefferson Street here. Yeah. So this is one. This is one of the older, for, again, all the older parts of the freeways here in the valley. I-17. I built was built I guess in the 1950s or so. Yeah. It's been it's, so it's been in here for quite a while. Here in this part, and um, yep, and you can see the interchange coming up there, the stack interchange. <coughs> lane ends here, right lane ends. Yep, and you can see I can go out of A10 East to go more through downtown Phoenix, right there, and okay, you know, I'll take you to the Deck Park Tunnel and all that. And of course, I10 West goes to continues west to the West Valley, West Phoenix, and then the western suburbs like Avondale. Tolleson, Avondale, and um, Goodyear, and then of course then Buckeye and all that. Of 
customers are coming up to some people here now. Of course, the speed limit is 55 here, so I'm really, you know, it will increase here soon, I think, a little bit. You know, I mean, like, hopefully, in the next, with the next few miles, it should. speed up here a little bit now since you know I have cars and not in front of me and I really don't want to try to stay out of the right lane for now you know because you well, know and right now there's a famous sign coming up see that sign up there that looks like a big diamond back in the days of course when we lived here in Phoenix actually back in the days we lived in Phoenix and probably until like the 2000s of course I mean when we left in 1993 that was KNIX's sign KNIX used that diamond famous diamond sign it's owned by Clear Channel Outdoor but yes it was um it was. It's been that thing has been there for many, many, many years. It's a. <laughs> yep. But that was KNX's sign right there. <clears throat> and now today, other advertisers use it. Now. <clears throat> so right now, yep. So right now we're at milepost 202 here. We're going to be coming up to Indian School, Indian School Road. <clears throat> This all this part of Phoenix, by the way, I will say, is very is very unsafe. Though it's not a real good, it's not a good area at all. This is important, and we're all when you hear like you know, crime reports and crime and everything, all that about around the around the valley, you know, you hear a lot about about you hear a lot of a lot of crime stories that come from this area, from the valley, this part of the valley here. <clears throat> So all these dips in the yeah, I'm sorry, my phone's right here. Yeah, a lot of these dips here and everything are all going on here and everything. So um, anyway, let me. Um, That was my dad calling, so I went and I'll talk to him when I get the anthem. I'll go ahead and call him back. Right now, I just don't. Want, obviously, I'm trying to drive right now, and of course, it's a handset, hands free. But plus, I'm trying to record, and I don't want my, of course, recording conversation being recorded here, of course, completely, you know, on put on on the world to see on YouTube when this gets uploaded. So, crossing, passing Bethany Home Road here, exit two zero four. Yeah, I'm seeing yeah, speed limit still is fifty five. Wow, so they keep it flat for a quite a while here. It's like
we got someone on my tail. Here he goes. You know, I'm still going like 60, I'm like 10 miles and over the limit here. And we have people, I'm not even catching up to these other people. It tells you just how people just disregard speed limits on the street. You know, of course, as we know, cop can't pull over everyone. That's the thing. Two. And uh, to the left here of me here is, there's a lot of restaurants, nice restaurants around here. To the left is uh, Metro Center, one of Phoenix's oldest malls. Of course, it's gone downhill. A lot of, a lot of us, a lot is closed. Um, a lot of stores have closed. I mean, they're going to redevelop the property, of course. I mean, all that. But, yeah, it's just, yeah, this is the Metro Center area, they call it. It's <clears throat> not the best areas either, either, in part of Phoenix, you know. But it's, you know, it's one of the, but of course, there's, but it's, it is one of the, it is the oldest mall in Phoenix. Traffic's not bad on I-17 so far, leaving, trying to leave, get out of the valley. So it's, at least we're making, I think, good timing here, you know, even though if I didn't, didn't take that route. Yep, 65 miles an hour. And I'm around 70 now, oh, that's okay. Approaching the Loop 101 interchange here soon. So we're at Greenway Road, exit 211. So right now to get to exit 229, which is where the three lanes ends and it becomes, you know, that's where we're going to get off in Anthem. And we're about 18 miles away, believe it or not. <laughs> that's just how big Phoenix is. I mean, I know that's the far edges, northern edges of the metro area there around Anthem. And I can say New, R New River is like actually, as actually I can say as an exurb of Phoenix. The Phoenix metro area. <clears throat> it's about five miles from from Anthem. So far, this car is driving very, very nicely, very nice and smoothly, and everything. So.
another one of the big roads here, Bell Road. Uh, Bell Road is a very big east-west thoroughfare here in Phoenix. Runs all the way from the Far West Valley all the way to like Scottsdale, where it then turns into like uh, Fort Lloyd White Boulevard. And eventually there it continues again in Scottsdale, somewhere else, yes, so, um, but yes, it's a very, very, very big road. <coughs> See, here we go. We got another me firster. I call him. You know, I call him me first because they you know, here in Fan here in the valley, people have a so-called me first attitude. You know, the drivers here. They, in other words, they will know that you want to pass somebody, but then the other person right you know, beside you, they want to pass you first. So uh, that's just what how they are here. And back in the day here, I-17 narrowed the two lanes in each direction at one of Loop 101. So it was two lanes each direction north of here, after the north of Loop 101, and all that growth occurred. And eventually it came a gridlock. So I believe about 10 years, about a decade ago, they widened the road. They finally widened it and put a three lanes, and they expanded the carpool lane all the way to the Carefree Highway. The three lanes do end around, like I said, Anthem Way, exit 229. So another 15 miles from here. <coughs> north of here. So here comes Loop 101, uh, another one of the big route, um, freeway loops around in the valley. Hopefully this road is not closed. They said 824, but Pinnacle Peak, but... ADOT's doing some project over here, so probably going to end up having to slow down. This, you know, I'm well over the speed limit. It's only like 55, they say, because of the road work. I guess that's what it is. So I'm going to end up probably flowing down the, the, the gas here. You know. Of course, I don't think anyone's really paying attention to that speed limit here. But, um... <clears throat> Okay, so right now, um, you, if you saw that sign right now, it said SR69, that is where we're going to get off of right now. That is that is where we're going to get off after my second stop at Sunset Point Rest Area. So um, that stop right there, that is where that is where that will take us to Prescott. That's Arizona State Route 69. So right now it's about 45 minutes from here with the current traffic condition to get there. So they're doing some sort of work around here. I don't know exactly what they're doing here. This might be part of the... Uh, I have to look and see what actually what ADOT's type of road work this is. <clears throat>
they're just rebuilding the road or something. That's what's going on. I'm not sure. <laughs> but you know, they say speed limit 55. No one's obviously doing it at all. They're just speeding through here. stretch my legs and put the gas in the car because it says I only have 103 miles which will not get me to Prescott. <laughs> it will probably barely get me there but now I don't want an near empty tank especially in case if you hit traffic or the freeway is closed by any reason. I mean it's that has happened often you know, a lot of cases because either an accident or because there's a brush fire. Seriously yeah brush fires have been happening along I-17 a lot and a lot of it's because I'm sure people have chains and they don't they touch the ground they cut great sparks and they start fires. And unfortunately, because of that stupidity, uh, it, it, it ruins it for everyone else. Because of one person. Actually. Another nine, or nine, nine more miles to Anthem. Exit 220 right now, which is mile would be around mile post 220, uh, mile post By the way, this is my first trip going alone to Prescott, actually. Now, the last two times, back in late end of December 2018, and then, of course, back in, what was it, May? Uh, that's when we, uh, that was the last time uh, I went, uh, that's the, I went with my friend Aaron. But today, this is my first trip going to Prescott by myself. Hard to believe this is all considered city of Phoenix. This is how far north the city limits go. I mean, it's 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 amazing. Yeah, we'll be kind of and exiting the city of Phoenix. The city of Phoenix. We'll be leaving the city of Phoenix limits here soon. But yeah, it's it's just it's amazing. You know, it's amazing how much growth has occurred out here. You know, I have offices and of course a lot of homes, shopping, all that type of stuff. It's just incredible. You know, it says horses, next 15 miles, really, dude. So I have 100 miles left exactly on this guy, and I found a fuel I have. Well, I won't, I guess like I'll be filling up in Anthem, so putting up fuel in there. sign for Anthem Way there, so four and a half more miles. So four and a half more miles of three lanes. 
left. So far traffic is not too bad as of now. Looks like it's trying to get out of as we get to the northern far fringes of the valley here. City limits, Phoenix City limits is right around here, I believe. I believe you know, if you're going west southbound, see the sign that says Phoenix City Limits. See where it says New River right there, and after that exit right there, New River, that is I, New River. Like I said I, in early in the video, is considered um, I, I, it's considered an exurb of the Phoenix metro area. I mean, it's not. It, it is more of an exurb. Yeah, five and a half miles. Right after you get past New River, that's when you see the first signs, mile signs were flagged for for um, Flagstaff, Prescott, and off also for, and then also there's Black Canyon City, which is the uh, next city, next town area. Um, after New River, which is right before the upgrade, before the mountain upgrade, you go up the uh, mountain. So about two more miles to our exit here, and then we're going to we can go take a ride, go put some gas in the car, and um, all that. Mile post 228. And a cop pulls someone over for something, I don't know what. Probably maybe speeding. I'm sure. Yep, you can see the three lanes ends right here. So I right, go ahead and Anthem has really grown a lot over the years. You can see all the development homes here they've put out here. I actually, for my side business, I actually have a customer who lives out here actually, here in Anthem. A good customer of mine who lives out here, so I get off of this exit. All right, so let's go ahead and All right. probably just. Uh, I guess there's gas to the right. I, yeah, I think there's a fuel gas station here, so we'll go to the right. Cactus, squirrel cactuses here. All right, so let's just be careful here. Okay, looks like we are clear. Let's make our turn. So you can see this community here. This is, yeah. So we're in the far northern reaches of the metro, of the Phoenix metro area here. Yeah, but look at all the homes here and the office. Oh, yeah, it's it's amazing what is what has been built here over the years.
This is Anthem again. So once I get to the station, I'll probably disconnect the video. I'll call my dad back and uh, let him know I'm an Anthem. So. Turn around to get to it. Okay. It's nine o'clock. Yeah, so I'm sorry, my yeah, yeah, voicemail. All right, well, I'm gonna give my dad a call. It's my dad there, so I'm just he left me a voicemail. So let me, um, I'll call him back here as soon as I figure a way to get any to figure a way to probably hopefully find a gas station here. Okay, so it's two ninety three a gallon here. Okay, gonna get over so we can turn around. Well, of course, as you know, people here have a me first attitude, so they're gonna pass me. That's what it is. Look at this. I want to get over. Someone else is passing me. You know. Let's get over here. Okay. What's going on here, folks? What's going on here? This must be some sort of event going on here. We don't know what. Something's going on. I've never been this far on Anthem Way before, so. I'm trying to find a way to turn around here. No left turns or anything around here. So I can turn around. Okay, here's a light, so we can turn around here. Okay. Went over 
probably by a mile too. I mean, because of that. I mean, all right. So, okay. So I will go to that Circle K, and that's where I'll disconnect the camera for just a little bit, and I'll contact my dad, let him know. So I'm gonna get some gas here. All right, there's a circle K coming up on my right. Finally, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn it into there. And, um, go. Put some gas in this car. Bar trip, and at least get my legs out and stretch. side because I heard uh, both there's this station probably was a victim of it there was um, actually a skimmer credit card skimmers found here so I'm gonna go inside and just pay all right here we are so I'm in circle K I'll be back here in a moment all right so here all right so I'll disconnect the camera straighten that out more. Hello everyone. Okay, well I'm back right now. So um, right now, uh, right now, right now we're at the Circle K here in Anthem, and um, just filled up my tank um, and everything. So it looks like we are set now to head back onto the interstate, um, Interstate 17 North, and head out of here. Just make see what's going on here. Some people here. Okay, probably go out this way. Yeah, the gas station's fairly active here today. Obviously. I think a lot of people probably are going to be heading up north, I'm sure, are putting gas in their cars before they head up north. Okay, so probably there's another outlet here. Here we go again. No signals or anything, right? That's people just do not indicate what they want to do. Okay, so let's go ahead. I think there's an outlet around here. I'm just going to use that one to get out. Yep. Once we get back here, okay, yeah, just around the corner. <laughs> I 
All right, so we're on getting back on Anthem Way here, heading westbound now on Anthem Way, and we're going to get to I-17. And well, here it is. This is it. Here we go. So, <clears throat> so probably by uh, the time I hit to my dad's place, it's probably in a good almost hour and a half. So I'm thinking probably about 11 o'clock or so I'll be pulling in, hopefully. And the nice thing, though, since they open up another back road right now, I don't have to go through downtown Prescott to get to his place. So I can avoid that area because on the weekends that area they have during the summer they have festivals and everything like that. All right, but right now let's go put on some finally some music finally here. Yeah, I should fix this. we go you can see the traffic is already kind of starting to pick up here It's, yep, it's getting busy, folks. Look at this. It's still at 75. Well, 75 miles an hour. Well, guess what? You're not going to probably be going 75 miles an hour today because it's just, yeah, it's a little fairly busy. Yeah, you know, I don't know, but it's, it's, there's traffic, obviously. Coming up to 
new river here. Come up the new river here right now. So elevation is about 2,000 feet here. So after this interchange, we should be seeing at this exit, we should be seeing the first sign, mileage sign, now coming up. Yeah, traffic is slowing here, folks. Look at this. That's what you got to watch out for. Patient people. They should not be in the left lane by that guy, the van. It's New River. Yep. Look at all the swirl cactuses you can see around here. That's what's so awesome about this part of I-17. It's pretty cool. You see forests of them here. All right, here comes our first sign here, mild sign. Here it is. So it's kind of covered up by a bush here. So Black Canyon City is 10 miles. So right, that's where the uh, just after that is the hill. 65 to Prescott, 107 to Flagstaff. Ten miles of black in cities into that hill. <clears throat> yeah, lines of cars behind me, folks. Everyone's got the idea of heading up to the, uh, to the north, into the northern Arizona, the high country, where it's cooler. Love all the swirl cactuses in this part of the I-17. It's pretty neat. <laughs> Table Mesa Road, of course, by name after the Mesa Road top high on um, mountains that are ahead of it. You, know, you can see in the distance there. <clears throat> it's gonna be interesting going up that hill, folks.
another mile of shine coming up here. <laughs> and five percent grade here coming up. You can see here too. These are the freeway tends to get more hillier here, you know, too, as we get closer to the mountains here. But you can see up flax up 103, 69 where we're gonna get the press gets. Look at all the cacti here, folks. Squirrel cactuses. Mile post 239. Oh, southbound's all the way over there. Black Canyon City. This is the last city here, town, before the uh, we climb the mountains here. So right now we're leaving Maricopa County and we're entering Yavapai County, and which Prescott is the county seat of. So you can see the mountains coming up, which we'll be climbing here shortly. Oh my gosh. Let me just see this. Carvana, looks like truck for Carvana. Yep, see the mountains up there.
there was a fire here the other day, about two, three, and they shut the freeway down. Brush fire. So there may be some smoke, I guess, in the, I guess still. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, actually, I have a 244. Gosh, amazing how many people are passing me here. And the semi is going to be passing me. We're going to pass me soon because you can't be in the left lane soon. No semi is in the left lane after after Black Canyon City until we cross and get to the top of the hill. Top of the mountain. So we are passing through here. Another mile sign coming up. Here we go. This is it. We're going up the hill. Yep, trucks right lane, next six miles. No trucks in the left lane. Speed limit drops to 65. So rest area seven, 53 to Prescott, 95 to Flagstaff. So traffic ahead is some trucks, you know, they can creep up this hit, this, this, this going up this grade. So this is it, folks. Here we go. We're leaving the de lower deserts. This is it, folks. Here we go. Oh, here we go, folks. Bye bye, lower deserts, until tomorrow. Yep. And you can see it's slowing down. I knew that was going to happen, folks. Yeah, so it looks like we'll be, looks like folks will be creeping up this hill. Person going to let me go in or not? Here we go. I'm running me first, all right? There we go, folks. People do here. We're climbing the mountain, folks. Your <clears throat> trucks just creep up this 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 grade. Yeah, well, they pass me on the on the flatter part and looking out at this. Funny, right? Get over. This person, look at this. Ah, so what, buddy? You're not gonna be able to go any faster. Look at this. Oh my god. I knew he was gonna do that. Oh, yeah, you could tell. I was tailgating me. He was gonna do it. He was gonna cut me off. That's why there's so many freaking crashes on this part of this freeway because there's so many impatient freaking people. You know, I mean, it's traffic. You can't, this is weakened traffic, folks. What can you do? Not much. Not much at all. Frickin' people here, man. Ridiculous. Right? Terrible. There we are. We're coming up to our next exit here. Bumblebee Crown King. 248. No services are at this exit.
Horse Thief Basin. That's actually a lake, Horse Thief Lake. Horse Thief Lake. And it goes that road that goes to. This is so much fun going up this hill, isn't it? But they gotta be careful because, you know. Temperature gauge not even moving at all, and I'm going 65 now up the hill. That's the speed limit. Almost to the top here, getting closer. Well, yeah, well, so far traffic's moving around 60, 65, which is good. Two more miles, folks. This car, it's like it easily go up this. It's just, I've got, you know, it's made, that's car, it's, this little car has got power, folks. It's another mile in sign here. So three miles to the rest area here at Sunset Point, which will be our second stop, by the way. Junction 60, Highway 69, which to go to Prescott 13, and Flagstaff is 91 miles. Yeah, so we're going up in elevation here. So, 3,000 feet up now. Yeah, and you can see the view becomes really stellar here. Now we got some slowing here, folks. And so, coming up this, yeah, well, this is typical. This is what happens. Well, I have a slow cars up here. Okay, right past through this plateau, rock camp, I'll plateau through this rock path so right here. Uh, we'll, we'll plateau. And we'll be at the top of the mountain. And the, and the squirrel cactuses, they will, you can see some up here, they'll disappear. I got some slow traffic here, folks, so. Only going 30 miles an hour. <laughs> That's the jackass who passed me earlier. You know, yeah, look at him now. He's stuck in traffic. Oh, he's, he cut me off. What an idiot. There's a lot of idiots on this. I mean, seriously. If you think, anyone who thinks they're going to dream of driving 70, 65 miles an hour continues to flag south as a dreamland, especially on a weekend on this road. Come on, folks, you know, really. down and we are at the top of the hill look at the landscape folks all changes and try now of course trucks can go in the left lane again All right, so we're getting off at Sunset Point here, coming up this exit, and um, we're just gonna go, nice, beautiful views and everything, all that, at the valleys you can see from there. Pretty cool, pretty neat. But anyway, we're gonna go ahead and um, stop there.
camera gonna be off here soon, so. I love the landscape, it all changes, it's pretty amazing. All the traffic here, yeah, I know, well. See the warning signs up for the grade, the final grade, back to the deserts. Of course, we'll go that tomorrow. Very busy rest area, folks, by the way, as well. It's very popular among people going up to the Orpheo Street. So 10.08, so probably about an hour from getting the press kit. Oh, God, I hope I can get find parking. Could be a concern. Uh, I got my spot that I wanted. Okay. Well, a lot of people are here. All right, we're going to turn the camera off here, folks, and uh, we'll be back. All right, so we'll disconnect the camera. You can see the awesome view here, but I'll turn the camera. Look at that. Isn't that neat? And here, so we're at Sunset Point Rest Area. Alright everyone, I am back right now. And we're at Sunset Point here, getting ready to head out back up. Oh, right, final stop will be Prescott, so I'm gonna just check my maps here. So on this
All right, so, okay, I found what we need to, okay, all right. All right, so here we go, music is starting up again. much better now for the rest of this trip. <clears throat> yep, so we went south. We're not going south though. We are going back towards Flagstaff, of course, so we got to stop here. Yes, guys. Yeah, you can see the traffic going northbound. It's, yeah, of course, tomorrow, southbound will be busy. So it'll be interesting tomorrow coming back to Phoenix. That's the one thing when you drive on I-70 in the weekends, you just got to bring your patience with you. And unfortunately, people don't have it. A lot of, all not all people have it. You know what I mean? That's and then why accidents occur. And, and, you know, you can see that in that early in the video, you saw me get cut off. By somebody, you know. I mean, it's just it's just an example. Okay, let's go. All right, turn the signal on, and we are going back in the traffic here, folks. I-17 North. Clear to merge in there. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So hopefully, we're hoping that people will be going. Alright, so 69 um, nine miles to this our exit there. And flat up 45 to Prescott. Yeah, so and then uh, of course Flagstaff was on there again. I think it's 87 miles to get there. <clears throat> so basically it's 45 miles to front yeah. So basically once we get on there, it's about 35 miles into the Prescott once we get on the 60 uh, highway, Arizona Highway 69. So we have another little grade coming up here. It's like 5%. Yeah, you can see people are slowing here, folks, you know. Yep, here comes some traffic, folks. It's getting bad, folks. Well, you know, I'll say I'll say this. Oh, I think it's going to get worse than this if another hour or two from now. So I did leave early. I wish I'd have left a little earlier, but it's okay. You know what do you expect? You know, we're almost going to be off this interstate anyway. And, <laughs> Look at this. Yeah, this is just why there's a lot of act. I mean, people get impatient. And <laughs> this is my first time really driving in the middle of the week in rush ever on this road. It's interesting though. It is. I'm only going 35 miles an hour.
tomorrow I'm sure I leave in the afternoon in Phoenix. That southbound will be just busy, I'm sure. <laughs> yep, there's 5% grade coming. Excuse me, I'm sorry about that. Excuse me. I do apologize. Whoa, look at this! Look at all these people! The line of cars, folks! Yeah, I left two hours ago. So yeah, this is two hours from my home, basically. From my apartment. <clears throat> Oh, this is where the fire was. Look at that. You can see, okay, wow, you can see burned trees. Well, I can see why they had to close the interstate. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. Yeah, this is all charred here. Yeah, I'm sure that's probably why people are slow too. They're spectators. They're looking at it and like, wow. You can see burned trees, cacti. Uh, pretty much you see prickly pear cacti up here still. Some of that. They, they can grow up in this elevation. It looks like it's speeding up now. There's a line of cars behind me. Line of them. Wow. You can see, wow, this fire is pretty big. You can see the charred hills here. Look at this. My gosh. Yeah, so we're five miles away. So this is we're gonna be off this inter this interstate here soon. Thank goodness. Wow. Yeah. So this, uh, I mean, I can see this fire was pretty serious, and also it's pretty bad too. It was right by some high voltage power lines here, as well. I mean, my gosh, this is bad. Jeez, it was all over this mill. Why? Wow. Fire is much bigger than I thought it was. Okay, well, that's. And what that fire did is it shut down both directions, north and south of the interstate, basically. A bunch of burned all the vegetation here. Any. Go up and speed now, I'm sure. 
I don't think we're going to get to go spending five. Interesting sign here, uh, exit here, right name, exit, Bloody Basin Road. Basin Road. Exit 259. Yep. Almost your exit. I think that next exit is, is, is uh, Sick Highways, Arizona Highway 69. Yeah, coming up with some traffic here, so. <clears throat> well, at least traffic is moving, but you know, it's, you know, it seems like it's just pockets of it. You know, it's, you know, it's, you get to speed up and then, you know, you have to slow down. It's, There's our exit coming up. Exit 262, 69 North, Cords Lakes Road, Prescott. Prescott. I am happy to be leaving this interstate. Finally. One more mile, folks, of being on Interstate 17 for today. I'm looking forward to getting off this road. Seriously. Probably a lot of people, oh yeah, but of course, again, a lot of people might be going to Prescott too. So I don't know. We'll see. Why are you hitting your brakes, folks? Come on, man. Okay, we're well, finally off I-17. Thank goodness.
Okay, so we're on 69 highway. Here's on highway 69. Right now. This car is wonderful too, by the way. I really like this Hyundai Kona. You know, I don't know if I would want to have this car. I think it's a little small for me because I'm actually looking at resort looking for a new car. But I don't see my current Hyundai Elantra would be right now making this, you know, this trip. It's just, you know, the climb that, uh, that hill and, and everything. Yep, so 33 miles to press get. So we're probably about, I'd probably get there about, I'm thinking it's about. Coming through the pass with the small town of Mayer, Arizona, right now. Mayer, Arizona. The next, next uh, town I think along the road. Yeah, well, I think it's, it's, I think it's what about, uh, I don't know, about 10, 15 more miles. Is uh, Dewey Humboldt actually? That is the first part. That's the first part of the Quad Cities metro, er, Quad Cities area, what they call it, which is Pres which is Dewey Humboldt. Prescott Valley, Prescott and Chino Valley. So a little metro area up here, yep. <clears throat> big bug, big bug creek. Yeah. <laughs> 
55 mile an hour zone coming up here, folks. And the thing is, when we go from I-17 to Prescott, the elevation just increases. So I think we go from like about 4,000 all the way, or uh, 4,500 up to like 57 feet where much Prescott is at. People here just disregard speed limits like all, all that they want here. It's just, it's, it's crazy. <laughs> big buck, big bug creek again. Anything in it? No, no water in it. It's a shame. Back up to 65. Yeah, I'm even feeling my ears pop right now as we're going up in elevation here. So let's see where we're at now here, where we got coming up. So Dewey Humboldt, the first one of the cities here, the Quad Cities here, seven miles away only, 15 to Prescott Valley and 24 to Prescott. So we've come about over 10 miles already, you know? Getting closer.
degrees up here, folks. Probably right now in Phoenix, it's about almost getting close to 100 degrees right now, I'm sure. Here's Dewey, Arizona's country town, Dewey Humboldt. The first is in the Quad Cities area, I'm not sure right here, which is Moose Prescott. The Prescott Valley and of course Chino Valley. We're getting closer now. Highway six, uh, say highways 169 come up. You could take this and go to I 17 too, as well. I mean. <clears throat> yeah, the speed limits are going to start dropping now as we start getting more into the urbanized area, Prescott area here. So. See, Junior State 17 North. <clears throat> There's Prescott Valley. We're entering Prescott Valley. He's above the Prescott Valley. But it says right there, Prescott Valley is seven more miles away. So I guess we're on the outskirts. It says Prescott 16.
we have more traffic lights now coming now. Yeah, traffic is fairly active today. A lot of people coming to town. It's like. Here's the actual entering Prescott Valley sign here. So okay, so entering Prescott Valley, 5,100 feet elevation, 1966 it was founded. station right there. And they stop there on the way and So it's 88 degrees here right now here. Eighty-eight degrees here right now here. Well, I don't know what happened. The power got disconnected from the camera, so I was saying anyway, it's eighty-eight degrees out here right now. Ninety-four in Phoenix right now, Tempe right now, four in twelve.
fucked up in the 40s, so I got to be falling with fucked up speed here. Yeah, I drop my speed and this person just speeds on. Nice, right? Yeah, it's probably gone again.
let's get some, uh, See all the stuff that's up here in Prescott now in shopping, it's amazing. Knowing what the cards were by the way they held their eyes. So if you don't mind my saying, I can see you're out of aces for a taste of your whiskey. I'll give you some advice. So I handed him my bottle and he drank down my last swallow. Then he bumped a cigarette. Face lost all expression. And if you're gonna play the game, boy, you gotta learn to play it right. You got to know when to hold them, know when to fold them, know when to walk away, and know when to run. You never count your money. When you're sitting at the table, there'll be time enough to count when the deal is done. Every gambler knows that the secret to surviving is knowing what to throw away, knowing what to keep, because every hand's a winner, and every hand's a loser, and the best that you can hope for is to die in your sleep. And when he finished speaking, he turned back toward the window, crushed out his cigarette. Faded off to sleep <clears throat> And somewhere in the darkness The gambler he broke even but In his final words I found an ace that I could keep You got to know when to hold Know when to fold up Know when to walk away And know when to run You never count your own money When you're sitting at the table Time enough to come when the deal is done. You got to know when to hold, when to hold, know when to fold, and know when to walk away, and know when to run. You never count your money when you're sitting at the table. There'll be time enough to count when the deal is done. You got to know when to hold. Here 
Here it is. Prescott City Limits. Prescott City Limits. Right here we are, Henry Prescott. Here we are entering Prescott. So, and elevation is 5,300. So it's actually 5,300 feet. Sorry. So I know I said 57. It's 18, 1864. It was founded. <clears throat> nice day here in Prescott. 87 degrees right now. And we're in late morning here. So we'll probably get around 90, low 90s here. We may be up mid up right. I don't have to see, but it's supposed to be a pretty nice day here. So. Right to the right, left of me is Prescott Gateway Mall here. Anyway, we're gonna stop here. Yeah, Prescott Gateway Mall is to the left here. A lot of restaurants around here. They have a Trader Joe's even up here too. It's They have even in and out Burger up here too. Chevy Cruze, look at that. You know, I don't know, it's not a big of a car. I, I, I'm actually thinking about a Chevy Cruze. Yeah, I just passed a Cruze right there. I like the car.
all these other shopping to the left here. Your Target, Applebee's, Golden Corral even here, yeah, so it's... goes towards downtown Prescott, but I'm not going to be going there actually, I'm actually going to be going to, um, uh, yeah, so, yeah, so this goes to Chino Valley, if you want to go to Chino, they take 89, but yeah, I'm going to take, um, yeah. I think I made a mistake last time, I actually, um, the wrong way. So yeah, so I have to be in the left lane here. So, yep, so that's where we are. So AZ Highway 69 ends here and it now we turns into Gurley and turns into Gurley Street here.
See, we avoid the downtown area. I'm glad they fixed that part that they got this open. these homes here. Look at these nice interesting homes in Prescott. Wow. Let me down. They're all probably historic homes. Here's just kind of still popping. Yeah, you can Look at all these homes here. Here's Hazley Road. All right, you can see Prescott here no more. You can see, uh, you can see all the different vegetation that's here. on the street here.
side of a plate. Got a hill, these pounds built on a hill here. Almost there, I think there it, is. there it is, right there. Well, everyone, this is the end of the trip here, folks. And everything, this is it. I'm right now pulling into my dad's place here, here in Prescott. Yep, and here we are. We are here, pulling in. So, here we are. So, thank you for joining me on this trip. And um, I hope you enjoyed the, the, the trip. And I'll be back on here again later on. I'll be back here on later on, actually, to uh, actually tomorrow on the trip back to from Prescott to Phoenix. Thanks, everyone, very much.